Okay. I'm going to show you what diagonal versus uh, an AD peak looks like so people understand just how important this is. Okay, so this is what... First, I'm going to do a normal AD peak on you. Okay, are you ready? Yep. It looks like that. Okay. That's an AD peak. Now I'm going to do a diagonal peak. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Very, very... Diagonal, very AD. But it is nearly like 50% faster. faster. It's it so is, yeah. much faster. Like your head becomes such a more difficult target to hit. Like you can see, it's like I'm moving in slow motion when I peek this way. And it's like I'm moving with speed hacks on when I peek this way. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join my official Discord over at discord.gg slash woohoojin. Here you can enter free raffles to win free VOD review live on stream. You can also support me with a premium membership, which unlocks access to private VCT restreams, professional player analysis, shared professional strategy channels, and much more. Enjoy the video. All right, let's take a quick look at how JPC's been doing. We're called two, more than halfway through it. And we've been in some good lobbies and we've been doing well. So here we are, you know, second on our team in a plat lobby. High gold, low plat. I'm pretty sure this is a Smurf Q lobby. Top frag Reno, seven first blood, silver one. We team MVP'd. We're doing good. I want to give him, I'm going to give him a movement drill today. Honestly, once he gets that movement drill down, I think we're pretty close to just shooting up to diamond. Go. Merry PPC. Christmas. Merry Christmas. How you doing? I'm doing good. Just, you know, living the good life, doing Hell the yeah. whole, whole Valorant thing. Hell yeah. All right. Pray to the gods we do not pop bind. I, I will dodge. I will Start dodge. Start the queue. Uh, well, I, fun fact, when you dodge, it actually it increases the back. odds that you get that yeah. map, your next <laughs> yeah. pop. Challenge accepted. I'll dodge twice then. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Let's go. Bind. <laughs> stop. Stop. Oh, thank right, God. Right. Thank God. You can't just say bind like that, man. Oh, no, I was saying I, I, was, saying I was, uh, I was saying I was binding a key. I'm binding a key. <laughs> Why does JPC play Killjoy and not Omen? Um, so some people have this type of problem and I figured it was best to just avoid with JPC instead of fix because it's annoying. Um, you have this problem where agents where you kind of like exit the game to cast an ability can be a little difficult to wrap your head around. Um, and like omen smokes are a good example of that. Um, like Astra, astral form can be difficult. Yeah, I figured it's easier if we just pick an agent that doesn't do that <laughs> on the meta omen map because it's faster. They don't have smokes on defense. I genuinely want you buying operators, okay? Okay, all right, all right. And doing stuff like I, playing A Heaven. Like, okay. <laughs> there's no counter to that. Oh, oh we want all right, to I'll mute you. Just, okay. You already know the deal. Just follow these yeah. guys. Try to split when you hit a site and set your stuff up for flank. No biggie. Reyna, do you want to come along with me? Damn. Look at this. Yeah, Look at this. Yeah, yeah, Anybody yeah. in the YouTube comments it's going, I can't do yeah, this in Diamond, Wahoojin. They don't listen. Look at this 40 year old get his gold They're teammates. No Watch out for trips and flashes. Raina, you, you want to come along with me? Bam. So hard about that, huh? He's the only one shooting the ball. Oh, we're chilling. This is actually good entry I'll from his flank. Team. One flank, one flank. I'm with you. Dang, look at They're this guy. They're going through garage. Watch garage. They're in garage. Two in garage. Dang, he's looking at the minimap. Uh oh. We can hold, we can hold. We have one lineup. I gotta get audio. I'm sorry. Bomb grenade out. Okay, yeah, you can do your lineup. One enemy remaining. Oh, that's messed up. Oh! Damn, he took their heads off. You know, after his games last evening, JPC posted a screenshot of him getting 200 ADR in both of his games. And he just titled it, Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. <laughs> There's one B, there's one B. Bang! Watch out, there's gonna be one flank. Reloading. I'm not sure about the flank call. We didn't see it. I think that's a ghost com. It's a good read. It's their eco. The ghost com is a ghost com. Nice round, nice round. Careful saying flank or you haven't seen them flank. I know it makes sense in your head. They're on economic disadvantage rounds, so they're likely to flank. But don't worry your team about that unless you're turret sees them and you need help dealing with it fair fair okay okay that makes sense yeah if your turret sees them and you don't need help you'd be like one flank i got it we are on an economic disadvantage round guys let's do something stupid oh my god such an igl 
He's such an IGL. Oh, he's gonna run it mid. That is stupid. Oh my god, they almost just got a free kill shot. Oh, is that a free phantom? Wow. Selflessly, JPC leaves it on the ground for his sage. A pillar in the Valor community. Oh my god, he's crazy. He's actually crazy. He's just sticking that. Spike down. <laughs> nice try, nice oh, try. Good. Our awareness of guns on the ground can be improved a bit. That first guy yes. that died dropped a phantom. <laughs> that okay. Jed who died dropped a vandal. I need all of you guys to start downvoting and flaming people in the YouTube comments who go, this doesn't work in diamond. They're huffing copium. This guy shot calls and his teammates listen every single game I watch him play in gold. It's because he's not rude about it. He's straightforward and he talks efficiently quickly. That's the secret. I'm going to give you one. I want to sauce you a call. I want you to take C orb and then try to hit A with your kill joy ult. That's complex. See if you can do it. Ooh, okay, okay. All right, let's go A. Guys, I'm going to run and grab C orb and I'm going to come back and alt A. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah you're going to want to ask for a brim smoke for that orb. Brim, can you drop a smoke here? We're, we're just getting fancy for the fun of it, Chad. I'm seeing him shot call and I'm getting in the Christmas spirit. How, how much can we shot call in gold, huh? Can we do this? I think that guy's about to smoke him. Oh God! Oh God! So easy. Sage wall, uh, C. So sage wall down. Oh, did they notice the one A short that's wrapping them right now? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> hey, we tried. I Spin. wanted you to try okay, something complicated like that, so you get punished by something. Okay. As you learn, <laughs> that type yeah. of play is really effective. But now you recognize, oh, I need Brim to probably like spot that garage for me, so I can run back A. Let's slow down a little bit. They're pushing pretty hard. Um, oh my God. You don't need to run on the site. Look at this guy. He's recognizing the early aggression from these guys and calling slower play. Oh, that crosshair should be garage. Yeah, there they are. Oh, he's got to get in there. Oh my God, he's different. Oh God, he's different. Holy cow. Head level, JPC, head level. I know exactly. Nice, to nice. Cipher, 120 to Cypher. I want you to watch that round back on the YouTuber. Your crosshair's a little low that whole round when you're looking oh, for the okay. Cypher. Yeah. Pretty much all the issues we're seeing now, chat. Um, okay, His okay. macro at this point is Don't above a diamond off. level. I'm not going to lie. He calls like this in a diamond lobby. It's not the problem. So after this game, we're pretty much just going to fix. Neon's been playing. We're, like, we're just going to grind this movement and crosshair placement fast as we can. I'm going to be giving him a drill. Even here, you can see his crosshair was floating a bit low. Oh my god, look at this lurk timing. This is actually quite good. Does he call them C. back? Oh, Neon pushed up too long. One down. This is too easy for him. He needs to turn around. Yeah. One enemy remaining. Too easy for him. Yeah, she's doing CT, CT. Oh my god, is he going to an off angle? Oh my god. She's coming through mid, through B. I heard her coming through B. Oh my god, he's trying to wrap around them. Uh, through by uh, ceiling. He's trying to wrap around them, chat. Okay, he shouldn't be looking at this, but this is still really well played. Chef's kiss, JPC. Chef's kiss. All right, I still have all that. I've yet to use it. Uh, do we want to rush A and try to use it on A or? I'm just muting, chat. A? Look, I don't need to coach him. Look at him go. I'm just going to let him play. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's different. Why is JPC's macro better than most of your diamond teammates? Because his macro is like at least diamond level. Look at him go. It's so easy to coach somebody like JPC because he's like a blank slate. He doesn't have um, bad habits. So you just tell him what's good. He puts a week into it and he gets good at it. His macro comms. Uh, is comms in like general... Think of micro as where you put your crosshair and how well you shoot them. Macro was like when he was on 5 HP there, how he tried to get around the dude and shoot them in the back. 
That's really good macro. Macro is making sure the team is splitting the site. This guy's got lineups. I didn't teach him that. All he needs... Okay, let's default again. They're this guy's again. brain really is expanding too fast. We have to we kind of do more max training right, for this guy. Time. When is JPC going to told his VOD review has nothing to learn? Now. Right now. We're pretty much just going to do max. This round's a little questionable, but he's expecting an aggressive push from them. It's not out of the question. He just peeks an op and kills him and comms op down. Sheesh! Sheesh! He's different! He's different! He didn't even realize he had the bomb. Yeah, we gotta talk about that lazy crosshair placement, though. You see how he just ran across garage? Let me clip that for him. <laughs> Wait, it's not fair. It's not fair um, when he shoots at these guys. Jet, or 80 this guy. Yeah, I did 80 to her. She's in gross. Well played. Good oh. job, Sage. Good job, bro. Oh. Hey, right around, guys. Right around. Oh. Last Ooh. player standing. That's done. My ultimate is ready. God, he's just so much different. This one's quite tough now on 20 HP, but dang, he kills two there. I'm just gonna throw my life at this. I know exactly where. You Ooh, that's are. grass. Did he hear the audio cue? He fakes that he's walking to see long. Oh my god, they fell for it too. Nice try. I like that you're trying to fake the sea long walk. I don't know if you could I, I tell the you audio that. cue, but Cypher was grass. You heard him ulting your buddy's dead body there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew he was grass. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Chill. I, knew chill. He was over there. I would disagree, Darrow. You say defaulting's not working, but it's like six to four. Of course you're in this guy's mad in chat, by the way. I'm pushing on this. He seat. just typed, of course you're in the corner. <laughs> oh. Oh, We're getting yeah, they're, they're flagged? Both C, they're both, oh, two or C. This guy came behind me. Bro, how'd she even get there? Yeah, how is, yeah I'm, I'm weirded out. <laughs> Player standing. The so fact good. that you 6 6 this half, by the way, is crazy. Your team yeah. was losing every 50. Like, I swear to you. that was You're going to have to carry this defense half. So that's the mindset I want you in this defense half. Your mindset has to be my teammates. Every fight they get is a 30% fight. So you want to be greedy about the fights until you start also losing them that makes sense so like i would favor play and retake over trusting those two guys on a if it turns yeah. out there's noise a. oh i got the bomb i would have liked us to go a heaven here because they don't have smokes but we're chilling we'll play we'll play we'll play we'll play uh don't forget to favor like a heaven uh normally when you go to like retake a going heaven's annoying because it gets smoked off they can't do that. They can't do that. Okay. And fair. so heaven is just like a great angle for us to okay. play. Oh, he should swing. There's one, yeah, one back there. Wow, he's actually so careful. Too careful. Nice go. It's bonus. So when you're on bonus and you don't have a gun, just look at your teammates' pistols and just find one of those guys with the ghost and steal oh, it yeah, from him. I love this fast flank from him. Coming back. Ooh, I think he's likely to see one grass. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's there's one. He didn't have that read because that's a bit tricky of a read. I'll explain she's it to grass, him after the grass. game though. I'm gonna clip that. Tell that brim to reload. <laughs> uh, short, me on short. Oh my she's god, what a winnable eco round. This guy is getting way too nervous. Well played. Dang. Oh. Dang! Okay, get your up. Get your up. Yeah. Yeah. And just play like mid and hold window. That way you can rotate quickly. So I backseat one of these guys see. The reason we're playing mid is because retake is really annoying on up. So I want you rotating very quickly off noise. Uh, I would play on the right side. Yeah. Perfect. Don't miss. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're holding window too long. It, I wanted you to just hold and die to grass, though. Uh, okay, okay. No, they'll swing window. If it, oh, did you give them an op, JPC? Yeah. That's messed up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay.
okay. It's a learning experience. You also heard them shooting your sage's wall grass. Oh, God. Is, did Big Bro log on to this Jets account? I think Big Bro logged on to this guy's account. I'm not going to lie. This crosshair placement does not look gold anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean... This is 90%. what you're about to look like next week. Yeah. Oh yeah, this Shooting. is big, bro. One enemy oh god, it's so big, bro. Oh, wow. That's such a funny angle that Cypher's playing. Yeah, yeah. That's A short, by the way. He's like in sewers. Yeah, yeah. They should hotfix that angle. I disagree. I think that angle is really fun. And it's rarely used. 1C, at least 1C. Uh oh. Oh, full noise. I'm not sure I agree with that. We're going to clip that. When should you save Banana Man? Uh, when the route is basically unwinnable. By the way, my coach made me buy that up. It's not my fault. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> he just pinned it on me. He just pinned it on me. You will not kill my allies. Hmm. Spike planted. I like that his default habit is not to reload, but on Stinger, we can't be playing with a non-full mag. And that is why, chat. That is why. Yeah, you want glass cannon op A heaven? I'm down. <laughs> Bro. Bro. <laughs> He's holding an op mid. Wall raised. Okay, this is good. This is good. Oh, no. He's too far forward. And your positioning was a bit bad there, Heaven. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I got some good clips. I'm going to share my screen and explain the world we live in right now. Because it's a good world to live in. I don't remember why I clipped everything. So let's just... He's different. He's different. He didn't even realize he had the bomb. Yeah. <laughs> so this whole arc we're about to go on is the crosshair placement arc. Um, because okay. <laughs> your yeah. comms, your strategy, your understanding of the map, your aim is really good. Um, I would say your crosshair placement is your worst thing. It's, it's just, always drooping down. It's boring. Yeah. And also it's lazy. And our movement, you're going to see, I'm going to give you really annoying drills. Okay. So here you can see garage is a threat, which Sage recognizes, you recognize, you turret it, she slows it. But now look, we're exposing more of Garage. They could be right here. And now look where we're aiming, just kind of at the ground. And then we look away. Like they could, why are we looking away at this point? Yeah, they could pop up there. Okay. Exhibit B. So here, your Sage peeks into two of them. Your turret spotting them coming out. And watch you. Oh, he should swing. So you kind of just let Sage 1v2 them. Because you're too <laughs> okay, worried about that backside guy. Okay. Wow, he's actually... And then there's the back. So careful. So here, you're going to hear me make a read. Ooh, I think he's likely to see one grass. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So now how come I know that there's likely one grass? So there's nobody holding back back here. And there's nobody a short. A short. Okay. And Oh, People okay. in the YouTube comments will be like, oh, these reads only work in high elo. But no, if they're not splitting A, it's unlikely that they're hitting A is five. Very unlikely. And so my intuition was like, oh, there's probably one grass. Like they're defaulting sort of because it doesn't look like an A rush. It looks like there's some noise A. But if it's an A rush, then how come 16 seconds into the round? They haven't hit A yet. Yeah. So there's that guy. And if our crosshair placement were more wary of this potential threat, we may have killed that guy. I think okay. That really fun. This round was and it's rarely almost used. huge for us. 1C, at least 1C. So you hear 1C long. Your Sage dies garage. As soon as Sage dies garage, I have no idea uh -oh. what to do because they're going to see me and I'm not going to win that fight. So You I, simply pick why, one. Yeah. You simply go, yeah. eh, garage is first. And you aim garage. Okay. Or, eh, C long's first. And if you're wrong, no biggie. But what okay. you don't do is, is you don't make full <laughs> noise when you swing. Yeah. And also the way you swung, we're about to grind this out and it's going to okay. hurt. It is okay. going to hurt. But here's the way you swung. You W'd here and then you like, you know, 1E like did a 90 yeah. degree turn. It's really awkward. What we need to do if we want to swing that Sage is like AD this way almost. 
Okay. And I know okay. it feels bad because it's garage angle. So you got to pick one. Watch your crosshair. And there it goes. <laughs> and here. But they could come out of that wall, coach. <laughs> they could be walking up along this left wall that whole time. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. This is a drill. So there's two drills, two drills. So first, I'm just going to hop in a custom game. This is going to be the most annoying arc. And it's probably going to get us to diamond like all the way. Everything else does not need change. The shot calling, you tell usage, it's lit. It's lit. You're way ahead of the curve on that because I think you consume a, a healthy dose of potassium most mornings. Yes. And it shows your awareness of how to play the game is much higher level than your ability to play the game. This exercise, actually, I'm going to go back to pre-round because I want you doing it even pre-round. Okay. Even pre-round when you're like going to do your setup, I want your crosshair at head level uh, on an okay. angle, even if your knife is out for now. So anytime you're walking around, this okay. crosshair has to be like this. If you're going to look at the mini map, you know, you'll tuck into your like corner. But you'll keep your crosshair at head level. Okay. So if you're like, oh, I want to look at my mini map. You're like, okay. Okay. Mini map. And like, okay. Back to my crosshair. Okay. So this is like drill one, like throughout the entire game. I want you to try and send me a VOD this week where no matter what, your crosshair is like ready for a potential peak. It doesn't have okay. to be the right peak, right? It doesn't have to be this one. It doesn't have to be that one. Maybe you're holding here and they peek over here. No big deal. But it has to be ready for a peak at all okay. times. At head height, not body height. So that's your challenge and ranked. And then combined with that, we're going to be playing deathmatch. I should have just stayed in my custom. We'll be playing a lot of deathmatch, which you already do. But we're going to have to focus specifically on the way we move around the map a lot okay. more. And we're going to have you do it right now because it's very useful if I can give you live feedback for one DM. Okay. We'll just play one. No big deal. But what we want to aim to do, this is not possible all the time, but it is possible most of the time. We want to aim to only expose danger while moving completely laterally. So let's say this is danger. If I wanted to like walk forward like this, I'd be exposing more danger. Like just walking forward, it's getting a bit bigger. So that's no good. Right. So if I want to expose that danger, well, I can move laterally. Chilling. So let's say I want to move forward. Well, then I'd move forward this way. Okay. And then let's say I want to expose the danger laterally. Okay. Now, sometimes you'll get to a corridor and you have to walk through it. So anytime you have to walk through a corridor like this, I just want you to knife out and understand I can't move laterally here. Okay. And so you're just going to use your knife. And then danger. Now it's a bit tough for me to swing here because I'm a bonk. So I'm going to move the unswing and then lateral, lateral, lateral. Okay. So all lateral to expose. And now let's say I want to walk up towards A lobby. Let's say A lobby is the threat. I'm going to walk this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Lateral, lateral, lateral. Now let's say I want to walk forward towards A short. I'm going to come over this way. Back out, back out, lateral, lateral really okay. difficult really difficult say so i want to go a main come over here lateral lateral i want to scale up over against this wall lateral i want to scale more back over to the wall lateral 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 okay really difficult drill really difficult but this is what you should be focusing on in your dm so when you're exposing only this a and d and like decently large peaks decently large um especially if you get closer to the corner quite large so okay. as an example let's pretend we're in this c long round now so we're here and we hear that sage intuitively now you should understand we can't peek her like this because it's not lateral so we'd right. either peek like this which is all a all a right or we go oh garage is too much of a threat and so we just look garage okay and we wait because we'd recognize we have no other option the only time you should be comfortable holding the w key is if you're going to pull your knife out. If you're not going to pull your knife out and you feel like you have to push the W key, it's better to just chill and use A and D. Okay. So almost no W keying with your gun out. I'm unbinding W. That's what it <laughs> no, you need W when you have your oh, knife yeah, out yeah. for rotations <laughs> and whatnot. But anytime uh, you aren't willing to have your knife out, you should almost never be willing to use your W key. So even there, I want to scale forward. I just can pull my knife out because I'm using W and then I'll pull the gun back out because I'm going to move laterally. And now let's say I want to get closer out laterally and pulling the knife out every time like this is not the best form. A lot of the time you do want your gun out because they can still peek you. However, I would prefer if you have like this very clear indicator that you know you're pressing W. The light switch. Yeah, it kind of thing. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so you just pull your knife out when you're going to 
get closer. Okay. And okay, let's say I want to walk up mid. So I wouldn't W this way. Exposes danger there. I'd probably W out this way. But it's tricky because I'm exposing danger here too. So sometimes you might just not push one. out mid. It's really difficult. Maybe yeah. you need a smoke first. 